Hello and welcome to this video. In today's lesson I will be talking to you about compounds, compound words and compound phrases. Compound consists on, well the making of a compound word or phrase consists on um, combining two words or two or more phrases and making them into one word or hyphenating them or they can be presented to you as two words. I have five examples here on the board. I will be explaining to you one by one so you can't see and tell the difference between compound words and compound phrases and how they are made up. All right, so the first one says, I wrote examples on the whiteboard. Which of these words do you think is a compound word or is it's made out of more than one word? whiteboard. As you can see I combined two words to make one word and it is a compound word because it consists of two different words merged into one. I wrote examples on the white board. All right. Next one says he lent me his pencil sharpener. His pencil sharpener. This is a compound also, but it, in this case it is presented to you as two separate words, but it is still a compound, pencil sharpener, right? And the next one says, Mr. Beckham is my father-in-law, father-in-law, that's a compound phrase, father-in-law. As you can see, I hyphenated here and here father-in-law, right? And the next one says, she is the new editor-in-chief, in sorry, editor-in-chief. That's a compound phrase also. And the last one says, I presented my project to the board of directors. This here is also a compound phrase. As you can see the difference between a compound phrase and compound words, you can see here two words merged into one word make create a compound word and two words directly related pencil sharpener. Even if they're um, separated into two words they are still compound words. Three words father-in-law connected by hyphens. That is a compound phrase. Editor-in-chief. It tells you a position of a person. Editor-in-chief. Three words that are directly connected to each other as one. Editor-in-chief. They're talking to you about one position, one thing. So editor-in-chief is a compound phrase as well as board of directors. They are one idea, the board of directors, not many boards of directors. If you want to make them plural, then you would have to say the boards of directors, editors-in-chief, fathers-in-law, pencil sharpeners, whiteboards. All right, but we are talking about one idea. That's why it is a compound phrase. Right. Next, I will give you some practice sentences and examples so that you can work through this topic with me. Now we are going to practice. You are going to help me identify the compound words or compound phrases. The first example I have here on the board says, she needs a piece of chalk to write on the black board. Which of these do you think is a compound word or phrase? A piece of chalk? No, right? Blackboard. And the next one says, she thinks she is Mrs. Know-it-all. You know a know-it-all or Mr. or Mrs. Know-it-all is when somebody thinks they know it all. <laughs> so it's it is like uh, 
an idiomatic expression to say that you are a person that thinks you know that thinks to know it all. All right, so she thinks she is Mrs. Know It All. It is also a compound, but it is a compound phrase. Next one says, he is a bit of a show off. Show off. It is also another idiomatic expression, but it is also a compound phrase. Show off. What is it to show off? It is like when you want attention from somebody else, so you start doing a lot of things to call their attention. For example, driving your Jaguar like 200 miles per hour. That would be to be a show off because you want everybody to look at you. So that's what it means to be a show off. All right, the next one. We are middle aged women. To be middle-aged is like to be after 30, 30 years old. So middle-aged is another compound word. We are middle-aged women. All right, next I will leave you some homework because you need to practice to get feedback from other viewers and also because you need to improve your English. Remember that you don't only need to watch videos and listen to music in English and watch movies in English but you also need to practice to interact. You can practice speaking, practice listening, practice reading and writing but most of all try to speak as much as you can in English. Don't worry about making mistakes now and then just speak as much as you can because remember that practice makes perfect and if you do your homework you will improve your vocabulary and also your spelling. Alright, so for homework you are going to write four sentences using compounds. Compound words or compound phrases. All right, so if you have a workbook, please leave your homework. I mean, do your homework in your workbook. And for those of you who don't have one, please leave your homework in the comment section below this video, along with any comment, suggestion, or question you may have. My name is Fabi Fitzgerald, and thank you for watching this video. Would you like to watch my next video? Click on the television to the right. And I will be talking to you about how to make irregular nouns plural. As you can see, I have some examples here on the board.